Hey guys, G2 here at the House of Black Giant Society. I do apologize, but the heater's running since the weather's kind of getting cold as we enter into fall, my favorite season of the year. So, one of the things I want to share with you guys is because I've had some of you guys ask me, Hey G, you did that Baroon review. Where is it? Um, I saw it on your YouTube channel, but it's gone now. I do apologize. I took it off because the Mind Boom Baroon went through some evolution. So, allow me to show you that. So, well, a couple things that happened. Uh, this is what I love about training with other martial artists. Recently, I had a Filipino martial artist from Philippines that came to train with me, and he actually is, uh, he practices some system that unknown to I remember there's many systems in Filipino martial arts, so it's not surprising, but he practices lightning science on these, and it's like interesting stuff, uh, but he actually saw this, and he's like, okay, so gee, huh? What do you have it like that? Because if you guys remember, I had that ball bead so as a monkey's fist locking, so I tied around my belt through the cords, through my belt loops. And he says, he laughed and I says, no, 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 my friend, you don't carry it like that. <laughs> because what happens is, what happens to me not wearing pants? And I'm like, so how do you carry it, sir? And he's trained with me for firearms of all things, but he actually saw this after when we start talking and he's like, yeah, I do martial arts. I said, what do you do practice? Lightning signs on YouTube? Okay, that's not something that I hear on a regular day basis. So I asked him to show me a little bit and I was kind of shocked because uh, Mount Rami, you might, shout out to Mount Rami. Uh, Mount Rami, how are you, sir? You might kn probably know this better because uh, dude's movement looked a lot like KI. So that was kind of an interesting thing. But anyhow, he shared with me how they wear this where he's from. So, like that. Like so. I'm like, I'll be damned. And this really works well. I like it because one, it allows me to carry the bottom like so. And it also makes it very easy to deploy. Now, if I was during colder weathers, I could probably put a jacket around me and no one would even know that I had a bottom on me. So, a couple things guys, what the Baroon went through the evolution, as I'll share with you guys. I put G Innovation Force Patina finish on that, as you guys can see. And for those of you who's been in my channel for long enough, hello everyone. You probably noticed by the, what Ray would definitely, Ray calls the Elven Steel edging. This is Daniel Malley's Epicurean Edge. Shout out to my good friend Daniel. Daniel, thank you again. You're the best. Always thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Daniel Zephyr and Edge, guys, for those of you who do not know, is an edging that in Japan is called Hamaguriba, which is uh, English translation, it would mean clamshell edging. The beauty of that is like a clamshell, though it be, it's kind of shaped like that. It puts more meat on the steel, and thus, Allowing to use it a little bit more harder because it's got more meat on this steel, it's a slight weight, and plus reduce because it's reinforced like that by having a thicker edge, thicker on the edging, it prevents chipping and rolling. I've never had a blade that Daniel grinded for me that would chip or roll on the edging, no matter what the object that I make the connection on with the blade. So also, G Innovations single ridge wrap in hemp core, flat side. So this, a lot of people ask me, G, why do you do that? I understand on a knife, but on a sword, why? You got the same thing, guys. See that? It stays flat. So even that little one-eighth of an inch difference, it aids in concealment. So there you go guys, uh, G Innovations, Mind Boom Baron, with a real good with jungle, I'll call it jungle carry uh, method, and it just works wonderful, I love it. Superior edging and phenomenal Nominal blade. Alright, hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is my last video of the day, okay? So, 
See you guys next time.